<laughs> oh my goodness. LeBron, how happy are you? You finally know now who you're playing. Uh, listen, we put in a, a lot of work, um, you know, these last few days, and it's exciting for us to get back on the court. So, you know, we're playing against a worthy opponent, uh, great coaching staff, great players, and uh, we look forward to the challenge. Hey, Brian, you, you cross pass a lot with the Celtics in the playoffs. Um, what do you appreciate most about that franchise and its place in our game? I mean, well, it's only two, you know, two or two winningest franchises, the Lakers and the Celtics, and you know the history of the game. So you, you just respect that, you know, and uh, you look about up, up in, you know, up in the stands and see the banners and see the, the jerseys retired and things of that nature. You, res you respect what the history has created to this point. Have you done that for your career? Have you paused to kind of look at all that stuff? Uh, I don't think I've paused, but I've actually looked up there and, and seen how cool it was, but I haven't actually paused. I haven't paused in my career yet at all. You know, we tried to get you to say you have a rivalry with the Warriors a hundred times. Uh, and lots of times you say there's just not enough history there yet. With the Celtics, you have you have a history. Can you have a rivalry with the Jersey? Because they don't they don't have any of the players, you know, from those old from the old days. Uh, I don't know. Um, it's not for me to talk about. I mean, at the end of the day. You know, the Celtics is our next opponent, and like I said, they're a worthy opponent. And uh, we, have to, we have the game plan, um, you know, every game. We have the game plan for what they bring to the table. And uh, we have to mentally focus on, on our challenges that we have every game. Ron, you mentioned that mental focus during the long layoff. What are the challenges of staying with that mental focus for what, what is needed for the playoffs? Uh, we've been focused this whole week. You know, we got a couple of days off. Uh, Monday and Tuesday after we clinched versus Toronto, but since then we've been we've been we've been putting in work and uh, mentally and physically. So, you know, as far as our mental side, I don't think nah, I'm not worried about that. It's always like the the rhythm. You know, we've been off it'll be ten days tomorrow. You know, since we played a game, the rhythm is something that you kind of like. You know, see if we still have it. But as far as the mental side, we mentally we're focused. Is starting on the road a good thing then along those lines, and does that help sharpen that focus? It doesn't matter. It's playoffs. It doesn't matter if you're starting at home or on the road. You should be, you should be focused. And if not, you shouldn't be a part of the playoffs anyway. You learned or take away from that late April game you had against the Celtics. Uh, early April game you had against the Celtics. Nothing. Two different teams. Um, we're a totally different team, and they're a totally different team at this point. So I'll take nothing from it. Sorry, with what Isaiah has been able to do, considering everything that he's gone through during this, you know, this this postseason from a personal standpoint. Um, I think at the end of the day, it, it, the basketball is the easiest way to get away from anything that you may be going through, and I said that already. It's, it's like it's a comfort, you know. It's uh, you see your teammates, you see the court. You see the excitement, and you're playing something that you've been, you know, loving and things of that nature for forever. So, um, you know, even with him going through what he's been going through, you know, with his personal family and his sister, which is, uh, uh, I can't put myself in his shoes. Um, but he's been unbelievable to be able to do that. You probably have played eight games over the course of about 40 days now. What, this time of year, what does that do for you? I feel worse when I don't play. I told you that. So it does nothing for me. Isaiah Thomas said he watched your game seven versus Paul Pierce to get fired up for this 